reading for tonight as we continue that theme of God is uh, throughout the next few weeks is Psalm 46. And this evening I'll be reading the contemporary English version. So if some of the words sound a little different, that's why. So here we go. Psalm 46. God is our mighty fortress, always ready to help in times of trouble. And so we won't be afraid. Let the earth tremble and the mountains tumble into the deepest sea. Let the ocean roar and foam and its raging waves shake the mountains. A river and its streams bring joy to the city, which is the sacred home of God Most High. God is in that city, and it won't be shaken. He will help it at dawn. Nations rage, kingdoms fall, but at the voice of God, the earth itself melts. The Lord all-powerful is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come, see the fearsome things the Lord has done on earth. God brings wars to an end all over the world. He breaks the arrows, shatters the spears, burns the shields. Our God says, calm down and learn that I am God. All nations on earth will honor me. The Lord all-powerful is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Dear friends in Christ, grace and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. So you can imagine when you've got images of this and when you are into science fiction and fantasy and all those exciting things that always show up on the big screen, your mind goes a lot of different directions. Let's just say that. At first, my mind went to, oh, you know, when you think about a mighty wall and a mighty fortress, you think about the Lord of the Rings and the Two Towers and that crazy battle scene where there's all the orcs and everything coming at that place, and somehow they still survive. I don't know if anybody's watched Lord of the Rings. It's been probably a long time for, for some of us. That came out a while ago. Or, a little more recently, you think about the Avengers, specifically Infinity War and that scene in Wakanda where there's all the heroes are there and all the, the creatures are coming in and there's this giant wall and shield and they're keeping them back but eventually they do break through that wall and they open it up and they come running through so it was eventually penetrable and eventually if you watch the whole movie they fall and a lot of other people fall a lot of people those walls no matter how strong we think they are they fall apart eventually when we think about that, that image of whether it's the Lord of the Rings or the Avengers or maybe even a sandcastle on the beach that you work hard and hard and hard to keep those walls up as the waves keep crashing in, eventually they fall down. The earth trembles. The seas roar. The mountains shake. The nations rage. The kingdoms fall. There's fear and there's wounds in our lives just keep coming at those walls that we try to put up and they fall down and down and down and down over and over again no matter how hard we try what else do you guys think about what else is coming at your walls today what's coming at your walls at home what's coming at your walls What's opening up maybe a wound in your life? Think about that. Think about that for a moment and how we really love to fly solo. We love it. We love doing things by ourselves. We think we can. We think our armor's impenetrable. But eventually, no matter what, we're hurt. Our walls fall. But, that theme of God is penetrates and breaks through all of that. God is a mighty fortress. God is, as Martin Luther says in the, the hymn, a mighty fortress, a bulwark. Which, if you have no idea what a bulwark is, it's a wall, a defense, a protection, a strength. It never fails. Now, we get wounded all the time and all these things that come at us in many different ways, eventually they knock, knock us down. They break through. They hurt us. But yet, yet this church, 
this fortress. The fortress is a place where all are welcome through the gospel, through Jesus Christ. That's quite the fortress if you think about it. And it's one that doesn't fall like it does in the Lord of the Rings or doesn't fail like it does in the Avengers or any of those other movies with different sieges when there are different chunks taken out of those walls. This is a fortress that never fails. And sometimes when we think about that fortress, when we realize how frail in a way we are, we realize that God is indeed important. God is needed. God is there. God is with us all. And it's okay. It's okay and natural for us to have those fears and those things that cut and wound us. But through God and not our own self, we won't be afraid. God won't be shaken. God's voice melts so many things. And just this evening, it got me thinking about this this song from Veggie Tales. Yeah, I know. You know, every once in a while, Veggie Tales does have some really good things. It's true. But this is a song from the movie of Esther, and it's called The Battle Is Not Ours. And the lyrics to that song go, The battle is not ours. We look to God above, for he will guide us safely through and guard us with his love. I will not be afraid. I will not run and hide, for there's nothing I can't face when God is at my side. No, there's nothing I can't face when God is at my side, for the battle is not ours. We look to God above, for he will guide us safely through and guard us with his love. So as the psalm said, calm down. Find peace. Find refuge, a place for renewal. I am God, a never-failing fortress. That's what God says to us. A never-failing fortress, that's something as simple as the cross, which seems like it would fail and fall, stands strong. An empty tomb that is meant to hold, is em a tomb that's meant to hold is now empty. A promise that seems unfulfilled is strong. Simple yet strong. Keep trusting in that wisdom. That's news to share in a world that's wounded, looking for that mighty fortress. And only God can save. As we're going to sing in just a few seconds and hear and sing in our hearts, our God saves. That's a mighty fortress. God is a mighty fortress, never failing. That's some powerful stuff to think about each and every day with all those things coming our way. Thanks be to God. Amen.